Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the BBQ. Please welcome Mr. Warden Braithwaite. Good after evening, my dears. Oh, let's uh, just check where we're plugged in. Have we, have we, have we, Victor, have we paid the electricity bill this week? We're, oh, 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 something going on. Right, oh, happening now. Right, something's happening now. Good after evening, my dears, and welcome. Welcome to the big Braithwaite quiz number 30. 30 years old, who'd have, who'd have, thunk, who'd have thunk it, who'd have thunk it. Now, uh, we, 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 we've a bit of a shock, we've had a bit of a shock this week, because the, uh, oh, the, oh, there I am, there I am. Right, bit of a shock this week, because uh, we, we, we found out last week, last, like, last wait, I'm talking to myself here, we found out last week that we had 1,100 views. I don't know what's going wrong. We're doing something wrong. We can't have 11. No, 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 no. That's not what this was designed for. It's not designed for mass publication. No, 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 no. So I'm going to have to revert. <laughs> going to have to revert. Maybe get Victor to do a full half hour spot. How do you feel about that? No need to get like that. It's asking for more money. Damn cheap. No need to get that. Now listen here, you young Victor. Don't you go overstepping your mark, because don't forget, I, I don't know if you've heard about this, I don't know if you've heard about this, but there, we, <laughs> there's, wait, wait for this, you're gonna, you're not gonna like this, Victor, you're not gonna like this at all, apparently, I've heard that there is a Victor tribute, <laughs> there's a Victor tribute out there, a salute to Victor, <laughs> so we thought, well that sounds interesting, we said, that sounds interesting. So just because of that, Victor, just because you're getting too high and mighty on your mighty horse, tonight you're laid off. Tonight, my dears, we're going to be inviting the salute to Victor. I, I think he's around here somewhere. See if, he, see, see if he looks a bit like him. There he is. There, there's Victor. There's Victor's tribute. There's Victor's tribute. There's your tri a salute to Victor. Yeah. What do you mean doesn't look? Of course he looks like you. What? Why hasn't he got a mask on? What, what? Right. Uh, well, I'll tell you why he hasn't got a mask on. That's, he, he don't need one. He's had one of those uh, the Hoover, Hoover, Hoover Nations. Hoover Nations he's had. No, no. Vaccination. Va va I knew it was some sort of a, a, a cleaning device. Uh, Hoover Nation. A, a vaccination. So we don't need... So, just for that, we're going to have him, at the end of the show, taking us out, singing one of your favourite songs. No, not Bat Out of Hell. Not Bat Out of Hell. Not that one. No. We'll have a salute to Victor performing at the end of the show. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, that should be interesting. Now, as well as, as well as, 1,100. 1100 views. I still can't believe it. What's going on? Paul, are you being out there pressing that button? Paul and Denise have been out there pressing that share button over and over again. I don't know. Terrible. Going to get ourselves a terrible reputation. Right. So, uh, because we, we also had, last week, you also know that we had the voting for our new tier system. Because we've had a tier system put out around the house. I put mine forward. And then, which I thought was very fair. Mrs. Braithwaite put hers forward which I thought wasn't very fair, so we had a vote. We had a vote between the three of us. Whose was the best tier system? So we have the results here. Now, uh, my tier system received a vote of one. <laughs> a little bit embarrassing. Little bit. And uh, 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 Mrs. Braithwaite's uh, voting system received a vote of 37 and a half. I, I smell something fishy. I demand a recount. It's not legal. <laughs> I don't accept that vote. I don't accept. So for now, we're sticking with my my tier system. So I don't. I demand a recount. Go to Georgia, get a recount. We're, oh, she's not here this week. Georgia's away. Georgia's away. Apparently, that's why it's gone wrong. She's a mathematician. I don't believe it. Oh, so nearly lost a sign there. <laughs> don't forget, always follow the safety advice. So, so. Just to break it down, uh, we broke down the voting system. And so just to make it clear, uh, like they do on the TV, I'm going to explain how we came to those figures. So there you go, you see. There we, so as you can see, the red line, Superbus and River and Congratulations, is going up and down the 
the motorway with a bottle of phaser pop and uh, it's going left at the roundabout over the D Dominican and uh, yes over the Dominican whereas the other one is going up and that's round the the that round the Dachshund and the Dalmatian and then upside down on the space Voyager uh, Star Trek so the, hope that's as clear as, as it was written <laughs> Right, so there we go. So, uh, Victor, you, no, you can't go. No, just because you're not singing at the end of the show, you can't go anywhere. So you got to stay there. Stay there. So, oh, have we got anybody? Let's have a look. Have we got anybody out there? Is it, am, am I rabbit into myself? Here we go. So, uh, oh, my goodness. we got. To, so here we go. Sue Horton. Hello, everybody. Hello there, Sue. Hello there, sir. The current, this week's current champion, Sue. Uh, Paula, he he hello, my friends. <laughs> Tony, I've been tuning in for a while and still waiting for Lori to sing Stop Shagging. Hugging, hugging, <laughs> hugging the show. <laughs> oh, uh, lots of hugs. <laughs> lots of the other. And uh, George, is George has found us again. George, you're getting very good at this, this te technophobic stuff. Right, so give yourself another point there, George. Well done. The point, point to start off. Uh, Colin, it's not me. It's not. It's, it's a tribute, a salute to Colin Bordis. We have a new. And see, you are not the only one with a tribute. Colin's got a tribute. Uh, Tony Martin. Oh yes, it is. Look, just because it's December, I don't think it's pantomime time. No, 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 no pantos this year. Well, well, maybe a couple. Maybe a couple. Uh, Paula, you can. <laughs> yes. Translated means yes, yes, you. Bob the Builder, can he fix it? Bob the Builder, he can, he can, he can. So, uh, as, as, as usual, so yeah, as I said, we got uh, a very special performer, a salute to Victor, <laughs> coming on at the end of the show to sing as that. Shut, shut up, Victor, just sit down. <laughs> Getting very marked. Uh, we've had the voting. Uh, now. Before we carry it, before we get started with the real business, the real reason why you're all here, none of this crap, but the real reason, before we get started now, Victor is a little embarrassed. Aren't you, Victor? Yes. In fact, his box has gone red. He's, he's a red box. Because he came over to me the, 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 uh, earlier today and he said, here, I quite fancy you doing a, a bit of parachuting. And I joined the parachute club and I signed up at uh, that parachute club down in the town centre, Roxy's Happy Jumpers. <laughs> I, I, I said, Victor, are, are you talking about Roxy's Happy Jumpers over the betting shop with that light outside the window? He said, yes, that's right, that's right. I said, Victor, I don't know how to tell you this. It's not a parachute club. No. Roxy's Happy Jumpers is a... a it's a, it's, 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 oh, it's a, it, it's, it's a sexy club. He was shocked. He was shocked. I said, didn't you know? He said, no, I thought it was a parachute jumping. I said, oh, he said, that's, that's torn it, that's done it, that's done it. I said, why? He said, I signed up for the first four jumps. <laughs> and he picked up, he, he signed up for the first four and, if you don't want to do it, I'll, I'll go in your place. I'm quite happily. I'll pull the ripcord. <laughs> right. So here, oh, this will stop. This will stop 1100. Don't worry. We won't get 1100 anymore. We'll be back to normal. Back to our 45 and a half room. Right then, if we're all ready. So here, usual, usual. We have half general knowledge and half music. Now, before we carry on, George. I've lost you. Internet has gone off again. How are you doing the site? How are you sending a message if your internet's gone off? Right. Uh, Paula, congratulations. Getting to quiz number 30. Uh, oh, right. Oh, yes, yeah, so I think a few of you are still there. I'm still there. I still got myself here. Right. So here we go. Question number one. General knowledge. Still not being promoted. Still only a general. Right. So here we go. Question not so did you all follow that by the I think I had it upside down. I don't know. Being attacked. <laughs> right. So here you go. Question number one. How many hearts does an octopus have? Strange question. How many hearts does an octopus have? Strange question. Okay, you all got that one, yes. Number two, in which year 
was Nintendo 64 first released in Europe? In which year was Nintendo 64 first released in Europe? Was it A, I'll give you a closing, A, 1993, B, 1997, or C, 1999? Abaca. Which year? 93, 97, 99. 99 Nintendos floating in their summer sky through the window. Number three, a 1987 number one hit by The Firm, parodied, 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 <laughs> that's a new, write that one, parodied, which sci-fi show? So, uh, a number one hit in 1987 by The Firm, parodied, which sci-fi show? <laughs> uh, I was going to sing it then, but it would have given it away. Number four. What was the best-selling film soundtrack of the 1970s in the UK? What was the best-selling film soundtrack? So music, music from the film in the 1970s. I, I bought it. I, I wish I'd still got it. Might be worth a few quid. Might, have you got that one? No, no, no. Number five. Which famous artist recorded the Bond theme song, Golden Eye? Which famous artist recorded the Bond song to the film, Golden Eye? Golden Eye, Vita. Any more messages? George, are you back with us yet? Messenger still working. Anyway, back with you now. Right. Who is General Knowledge? Is he in Dance Army? Yes. I forgot to mention that General Knowledge is taking over Sergeant Wilson's place. <laughs> it is the darling. It is the darling. Mrs. Darling. Hello there, Mrs. Darling. Oh, your soup was fab. She did some soup. She did some soup. Beautiful soup. Yeah. I, 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 I wondered. I, I spilt a bit on my feet and I got hairy feet. But well, there he goes. <laughs> Uh, when, uh, have you done the pudding? The pudding? Oh, no, no, that's Oh, don't blame you. Don't put your feet up. Put your feet up. Uh, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. And ha how's Mr. Darling? Oh, he's, he's all right. He's all right thank you. Mr. Darling is our handyman. Now, the reason he's a handyman is he only lives next door. <laughs> I don't get any better. Victor, you've heard that one. Stop laughing. You've heard that one before. Stop laughing. Uh, number six. Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in the UK. But who is the second? Who is the second longest reigning monarch? It's reigning monarchs. Hallelujah. Reigning monarchs. The second most reigning monarch. Number seven. Right. An, an, an antigram. An, an antigram? An an, an an, an, an anagram, anagram, this is an anagram. So, which famous film is made out of this anagram? Frog had teeth. So, just write it down. Frog had teeth. And that's a famous movie in that title. Frog had teeth. Anagram of which movie? Let's see who we've got while you're doing that. George is on the phone. George is on the phone. Caroline and Russell. Hello there, Caroline and Russell. Hello there. Uh, congratulations getting to quiz there. I know quiz 30. Who would have thought it? Who would have thunk it? I never thought it. Uh, messengers to work with general knowledge and you, know, you can repeat. Was right. right, Paula, question three was the, the 1987 hit by the firm was a parody of which, oh, parody, I thought I'd be right, parodied, uh, of which song? Which uh, sci fi movie was the firm parody digging? That was number three. George, what's number two? Number one, number two, what is your name? Number two is in which year was Nintendo 64 released? Was it 1993, 97 or 99? Red balloon. Uh, question five, George, take that point off. Take that point back. Question five, which famous artist recorded Golden Eye from the Bond film? Getting a bit chilly in here, actually. Yeah, very cold, very cold in here. In fact, if you see a pair of a uh, pair of brass-coloured spherical objects rolling across the table, look out for the monkeys. <laughs> hey, hey, with the monkeys! Right, uh, here we go. Any question five? 
Can you bring questions to and say? <laughs> nice try, Tony. Nice try, Tony. Right. Number eight. <laughs> I think puberty's setting in. Oh, Victor, you're doing your voice. Right, number eight. What is the capital of New Zealand? What is the capital of New Zealand? No, 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 Z. Is it no, Z? No, no, no. Uh, number nine. Uh, the capital. Oh, right, this is an option now. A 50 50 chance. You got a 50 50 chance. Uh, what is the capital? No, the capital of Libya. The capital of Libya is Benghazi. True or false? The capital of Libya is Benghazi. True or false? True or false? <laughs> Can you repeat last week's questions? Because <laughs> you got the answers. Right, number 10. What colour are the seats in the House of Commons? What colour are the seats in the House of Commons? Now, if you're colourblind... <laughs> tough. <laughs> right. What colour are the seats in the House of Commons? Number 11. What kind of food... You should all get this. What kind of food is penne? Penne, what kind of food? No, not penny from the shop. Penne, not penny. You dingbat. Right. Number 12. How many bones are there in the human body? An adult. How many bones? Don't make your own jokes up. How many bones are there in the adult human body? Is it A, 206, B, 208, or C, 210? How many bones in the adult human body? 206, 208, 210. Yes, Mrs. Darling. It's your wedding anniversary on, on, on Wednesday. It was her wedding anniversary on Wednesday, 47 years, and she's thinking if she'd just been put in prison instead, she'd be out and free. So, <laughs> happy! It's going to be a happy anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Darling on Wednesday. Our darling happy anniversary! <laughs> Any requests, I'll do the full version. Congratulations, Mrs. Darling! Number 13. Which British music star's real name is Reginald Dwight? Oh, my, my, quite a few got this one, I would think. Which British music star's real name is Reginald Dwight? Any more? Oh, Susie's cooking. Susie's cooking, Reginald Dwight. <laughs> right, I, that, I, there must be a delay on these ones. And the, uh, number 14. Oh, chance for some bonus points here, but it's very, oh, it's a hard one. It's a, <laughs> it's a hard one. What does the acronym... Spectre stand for. Now, I think that was from the James Bond film. Spectre. What does the acronym Spectre stand for? I'll give you a couple of minutes for that one. So it's S P E C T R E. Now, I'm going to stay there. I'm going to give you a bonus point. I'll give you a point for each word you get correct because there's some weird word. Did you make this up, Victor? Did you? No. no there's some weird word. Whoever thought this one up. But, Mrs. Darling, did you make this one up? Silence, that's proof of guilt. Silence, I, I, I quote the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> right. right, so, uh, Spectre, S-P-E-C-T-R-E. -E. What do the words stand for? <laughs> so, you might get this one. I don't know if anybody else will. But you get a point for each word that you get correct. So, I'll, I'll give you a couple of minutes to work that one out. Spectre. What does it stand for? Well, oh, any more messages? Right. <laughs> Are you turning into Bernard Manning? No, 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 no. no. I, my voice is breaking. I, I had an injection last week. I don't know what it was for, but it's done something to my voice. <laughs> Might have another one next week. I'll be talking like Victor. Oh, I send him on. I'll do a Victor tribute myself. Hello, hello. Oh, what, what, yeah, yeah. I could do a Victor tribute. A salute, to, a salute to Victor on your on the up there on your way. I'll do it. <laughs> right. So anybody else? Uh, uh, are you turning into Bernard Manning? <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> Bernard, I, I do a tribute to Bernard Manning. 
and approach the BBC. How do you think that'd go? <laughs> uh, Inspector Blake. Uh, I hate you, butler. Uh, is that what you mean, Inspector Blake? Paula, no, me. No, 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 don't sound like you, Paula. No, no. Right then, the music. Here we go with the music. Use this one, song title and artists. Okay. I got control. I, Mrs. Braithwaite, she, she's put, she's marking out all the doors because she thinks she's won the vote. She's marking out all the doors where I can and can't go, you see. So I think she's locked me in here for the week. And it is turning a bit. So here we go. Song title and artists. Oh, there's a clue. <laughs> Welsh choir. <laughs> Colin, you've been singing. Uh, here we go. So, enjoy George. So, George, does she know you? Do you know George? Uh, Inspector Blake, no, not me. I can see a salute to Ron Stewart. <laughs> if you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, Bonnie, let me know. I, I might practice that when I go down to, <laughs> down to Victor's Parachute Club later on. Mrs. Braithwaite, Mrs. Braithwaite, I'm off down to the parachute club. I'm booked in for a jump. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, Georgie, I think you should turn into Larry Grayson. Shut that gob. <laughs> that, no, that's not quite right, is it? No, 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 no. Shut, shut, put the wood in the hole. Put the wood in the hole. Shut that door. Shut that door. Yeah, I do sound just like a salute to Larry Grayson. There's my next one. Yeah, so Rod Stewart and Larry Grayson coming up for it. Uh, right, next one. Some title and artist number fifth set. Uh, sixteen, number sixteen. I think it's a twelve-inch version. Bit of a long intro. The force is with you. I am your father. Right, number seventeen. Number seventeen. Here we go. <laughs> on that one <laughs> that's a bit of a hard one do you know what if you, if you got that you can have a, an extra bonus point so if you can get the name of the artist and the song title both of them they have another bonus point because there were no singing on it that one right here we go so number 18 number 18 <laughs> See everybody out there who scratched. Oh, that felt it felt a bit odd. Uh, scratching their heads out there, saying, "What the hell's going on?" Right here we go. Uh, I can see a salute to run to it's, Stop calling it. No, I don't say that, Mister Tony. I think you should turn into a cul-de-sac. <laughs> right. Okay. Next one is number ninety. Number ninety. <laughs> Technical problems this week. Cause... Excuse me, <laughs> I, I, uh, Mrs. Darling. What do you put in that soup? <laughs> Mr. Tony should have got this one. There we go. I oh, oh, stopped him. Right. <laughs> This is number 20. 
very slick, very slick this week. Victor, you're fiddling about with the buttons on just because you're not singing. You're fiddling about, aren't you? Never has this. Brandon Walsh has never had to put up with this. I, I, I can't. What's going on? It's surrounded by imbecile Im, 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 idiots. Right. right. Let's try this one. No, the next one. Yeah, that's working. That's working. Come in. Number 24. Number 24. <laughs> Everybody's saying, for God's sake, get over. But here we go. That's a bit clearer. There we go. I, I don't know what happened there. For, for the last four or five, I don't even. Let's try one. What would it This was twenty one. This was. There we go. It's, it's, some wait. The spirits are with us. There's some shenanigans going on out there. Some shenanigans. Right. So here we go. The last one. The, the last one, I nearly announced it then. This is the last one. You'll be glad to the TV show. TV show. <laughs> I just, Mr. Tony Martin, just said, I can see the answers on your tablet. <laughs> Let's just, let's just give everyone a hundred points. Let's just give everyone a hundred points tonight. It's got, it's got. So. <laughs> where's Mrs. Where's Mrs. Braithwaite? She's my usually my technical advisor. She's detained tonight by <laughs> some reason. Right. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, I would be good at Rod, Rod Steiger, Rod Steiger. Uh, Colin paracetamol. Yes. He did actually. How did you know we got a parrot? <laughs> we did have some tablets, but the parrots eat them all. They were very good. We're, for, we're sharing each other jokes there, Colin. We're sharing. Um, I can see the answers on your tablets. <laughs> it's called Pfizer. <laughs> there we go. Number 20. No, 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 Colin. No, 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 no. It's not the number 24. It's the number 22 that takes you back to the hospital. All right. So get out to the bus stop. You want the number 22. Don't catch the number 24 because that takes you <laughs> that takes you back in time. Back in time to March the 23rd. You don't want to go to that bus. Don't get on that bus. Right. So 
oh, we got through that. Now, if anybody gets anybody gets all of those, you're cheating. <laughs> Looking at a tablet. <laughs> right. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes, I, I've moved it a bit now. I've moved it a bit now. Were you freeze framing and then flipping it so you could see? Very tight. Very thank. Thank you for letting me know, Mr. Tony. The rest of the other one. <coughs> off! You're off, Victor. Get off. He's sacked. He's sacked. Right. So uh, there we go. Yes. Yes. We've done that one. We've done that one. But right. Oh, oh we're all following. Oh, we're all following the guidance. Yes. Remember. Hope you can remember the tune. Right, so here we go. Any more messages? I can see the answers on your tablet pad. See them all. Toilet rods. <laughs> Tony's got them all. Tony's got them all. He's got the tablets as well. Right, so keep taking keep taking the tablet. Uh, right then, so here we go. Get your slate and your chalk ready. Question number one, Mrs. Uh How many hearts does an octopus have? It's three. Three. Three hearts, three hearts beating in just two. No, that's the wrong, wrong one. Uh, no, no, unless unless you're in a relationship with three, then it could be. Yes, it could be. Uh, number two, in which year was a Nintendo 64? And it wasn't 1964. It wasn't 1964. Uh, was the B 1997? 1997. Num number three, uh, the firm parodied. Star trekking across the universe on the Starship Enterprise under Captain Kirk. Yes, Star Wars. Uh, what? Oh, Star Trek. Sorry, sorry, Victor. Sorry. Good job, you, Steve. Star Trek was number three. Number four. What was the best selling film soundtrack in the 1970s? I will give you a demonstration. A salute to John Travolta. Oh, that, write that one down, Victor. A salute to John Travolta. That's my next one. Uh, it was, of course, Greece. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't Greece. It was chip fat. No, no, no. no. It, it was Saturday Night Fever. Covid. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. That would have, wouldn't quite have had the same ring to it, would it? Presenting the new movie. Musical, COVID. No, 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 no. Saturday, not, not quite got the same ring to it. Uh, number five, which artist sang the theme tune to the Bond film Golden Eye? Was Tiny Turn, Tina Turner, Tina Turner. Who, who put Shirley Bassey? I would have put Shirley Bassey, because uh, that was the other one. Golden, Golden Balls. Or is that no Beckham in it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sure, and it wasn't Shirley Bassey. It was Tina Turner. Any, any more abuse? <laughs> Get any more? <laughs> right, uh, Tony, Mario, you got them all. Uh, Colin got them all. Sue's, Sue's got the giggles. Colin has got stars in his eyes. No, 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 not uh, stop now, Colin. They don't do stars in your eyes anymore. No, he, he was, he was going to go on it, was he? Uh, so Colin's had that as well. <laughs> right, and Colin has lost all hope. You should be in my chair. You should be sat where I am. No, 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 you shouldn't. No, no, you shouldn't. We're right next to the cattle shed. Uh, right, so what, what was the name? Oh, number six. No, number six. Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch. With a more reigning ear. Uh, who is the second? And it was... Is that right? A pub? Is a pub the second? No. This is a pub out of uh, Albert Square on his senders. It's the second longest reign. Queen Victoria, the Queen Vic. The Queen Vic is the second longest reigning monarch. Number seven. Frog had teeth is an, 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 an antigram to the Godfather. Oh. Going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Put your finger... No, not quite, not very threatening that, is it? No, not very threatening. Theme tune for The Godfather. Gonna make you an offer you... You, you just, you'd have done well singing that, Victor, wouldn't you? Gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Yes. I, I've been working on his voice, doing it very well, I think. Don't you think, Victor? No, no, he's shaking his head. Who cares what you say? You're fired. Right, uh, number eight. The capital of New Zealand is something I've been needing quite a lot of this week. Is... <laughs> No, not sense, not sense. Yeah. Uh, Wellington, 
Wellington is the capital of New Zealand. There we go. Uh, number nine, the capital of Libya is Benghazi. True or false? Is false. It's Tripoli. 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 Uh, Sue's lost the plot as well. Everyone's losing the plot. I didn't know there was a plot out there. <laughs> what makes you think? What, what on earth makes you think that there'd be a plot in this mad 45 minutes? There's no point to a plot. There's no plot. There's no plot point. There's no point. No plot. So there's nothing to lose. So you, don't worry. You've not lost it. I've lost it. Where am I? Where am I? Uh, no, Tony, there is no plot and definitely no hope. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. No hope. Second out, round two. Oh. Victor, you're getting. Uh, Colin's had that as well. Thirty-eight, <laughs> thirty-eight. So far. no, Colin, Colin. I, I don't believe you. You're older than thirty-eight, my son. No, 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 no. You were thirty-eight about twenty-five years ago, if, if I remember rightly. Uh, Paul, Paul. Oh, they've got some smiley happy faces. Uh, <laughs> brings back Victor. Shh, shh. No, he's kidding. He's kidding, Victor. I want to come back. No, you can't. I want to come back. You can't come back. I want to sing. You can't sing. We've got a tribute. We've got a salute to Victor coming up. You rested this week. He's cheaper anyway. He's cheaper. <laughs> right. Okay. Number 10. We're only on number 10. Is, is it Tuesday yet? Is it Tuesday? Uh, what colour are the seats in the House of Commons? <laughs> I was tempted to say brown, but no. Uh, green. Green. They are green. <laughs> right. Number 11. What kind of food is a penne? And it's uh, an apple crumble. So, uh, George, Susan making an apple crumble. Oh, she's making an apple crumble. Oh, the, the, send some round to me, Susie. Right. That's a, that, what, what do you mean, it's not an apple crumble? Of course it's penne. Penne apple crumble. Apple crumble a penny. No, no. Pasta. Sorry, I thought what he was saying is the apple crumble was the pasta its date. <laughs> I thought he'd gone the, the pasta date. I thought the apple crumble. No, 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 no. He's not getting any clearer of this. And, uh, number 12. How many bones are there in the human body? Is A, 206. I don't, who would want to do that? Who would go around camera? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I lost count. Start again. One, two. No, no, no. What a job. What a job. Uh, number 13. Which British music star's real name was Reginald Dwight? Is of course, Elton John. We, we all know that. We, you knew that one, didn't you? Victor, Victor sings Elton John songs. Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Honey, it's healing it's not, yeah, not now. Not now. Not now. Please. Not now. It's not what they're paying for. What do you mean they're not paying they have to pay. They, we, we should have a PayPal sign on the back saying, pay your five pounds to this. Who's not done that? Look, I'm supposed to be make, I think I'm sat here for, for my own pleasure. I said, we'll be paying for this. Oh, 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 oh. You're in trouble, you're in trouble. Okay. So where's the PayPal? No, no, no. Right. That shocked me, that, as I, I thought I was being paid for this crap every week. <laughs> right, right. Uh, number 14. Oh, the big one, Spectre. So you get a point for each word that you get. And if you get all... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, seven. If you get all seven, give yourself a bonus point, which will give you nine. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So, Spectre stands for special. For the S. So, the P. What's going on here? Spectre special. So it's the first two letters. <laughs> Who thought this one? Have you been writing this again? Special is S. The P is special. <laughs> the E is executive. There we go. Oh, we got one letter for one word. Puts two letters in one word. Four. Where's the F then? It should be S P F. -E. Who thought this one? A special executive for counter. That's the C. Intelligence. Where's the I gone? This should be. This this should be. S. Int. R. 
Who thought it's stupid? Whoever thought that question absolutely rubbish. Uh, so special executive for a counter yeah, you can say that they didn't count on any intelligence when they were working this one out. Spectre, oh I know, Spectre will will will, will think up a title. It's called the the special the special entertainment of the anatomy of the three-hearted octopus uh, that lives just in Tripoli, and we'll call it Spectre. Mad. I, I don't know. This, this 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 world has gone mad. I tell you, this world has gone mad. We're all, I'm catching the next bus. I'm on the next bus for Elon Musk's planet on, on Mars. Elon! Ring, ring Elon up. Tell him I want a ticket on that first one out tomorrow. I'm off out. So, anyway, the answers to the question are... The answers... And they've, all, they've all given up. Mate, they've all given up. They've all gone. <laughs> they've had enough. So, Colin's on 208. Colin's on 208. Bernard Manning is on 255. Bring back Victor. You'll have to come and get it. Oh, oh we have got some apple crumble then. I will come round to your house at 3 o'clock in the morning with my bowl saying, Can I have more apple crumble and custard? No, it's not you, Victor. Apple crumble and custard, please. Right. I uh, think we should be paid to watch it. <laughs> You know, Colin, I think you're right. I, you should put your PayPal accounts up there, and I, if you last the course, I will send you some money. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, yes, the pain will be put through. <laughs> Let's have a whip round and send him to sort Japan. We will pay for your rockets. I'll, I'll be in for a rocket. Right, where are we? So, question number one. <laughs> no, no, we've done that one. Where are we? Uh, oh yes, Spectre. So Spectre, 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 Spencer, Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, and Extortion, and Stupid Word Making Up. <laughs> That's what I should. St Spectre stands for Stupid Word Making Up. That's me. that pile of rubbish. Right. I don't need that again, do I? No, 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 I don't need that. You've got all the answers. Right, so here we go. Now the music. <laughs> what time is it? Three, quarter past Thursday. Right, so the music. So here we go. So song title and artist. Let's down the toilet. This one's got. So song title and artist. <laughs> Should have all got that straight away. It was, of course, Country Roads. But who put John Denver? Wrong, 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 no, no, no. It was Olivia Newton John. Olivia Newton John, who was in Saturday Night Fever. Or was she Greece? No, 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 it was Greece. Yeah, so Olivia Newton John, who wasn't in Saturday Night Fever. So, Country Roads from Olivia Newton John, who wasn't in Saturday Night Fever, which means spooked her. Right. Uh, <laughs> sphincter. <laughs> right. The next one, uh, number 16, is. Now this one, fight for this love. That's what I said. I said that. Would you fight for this love? <laughs> fight for this love by Cheryl Cole. Cheryl Cole. Uh, number seventeen. Here we go. Number seventeen. <laughs> That was the instrumental version. That was Golden Brown. Golden Brown, just like Susie's apple crumble should be. And just like Mrs. Starling's Bakewell tart is always a Golden Brown. It's fabulous, fabulous. And the artist was the Stranglers. Stranglers in the night. One of Mr. Tony Martin's songs. There you go, Tony. On th if, it, if you got nothing better to do Thursday night, tune in to Mr. Moni Tartin. <laughs> Moni Tartin. <laughs> There's your new name. A salute to Moni Tartin. <laughs> oh, come on, let's see what you got to say about that. Mr. Moni Tartin uh, is on a Thursday night. I think, what time is it, Mr. Moni? Moni, Moni. Moni is on, uh, he's on a Thursday night. I think it's half past seven, I think. I will correct you. I will correct myself if he tells me what, what it is. Uh, we have shared a dressing room with him. <laughs> i got to stop reading the comments. The, the comments are more entertaining than what I'm coming out with. <laughs> What's new? 
We'll see. Uh, right, so that was the uh, Stranglers with golden brown apple crumble. Uh, next one. 18. This is where it started going all wrong. Or pink tonk also going wrong. But if you got this one, it was Home and Away, the TV show. Well, was was Kylie in that one? No, 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 she was. Neighbours, everybody needs Mrs. Darling, and Mr. Darling has neighbours. Because you get a lot of bait or pudding, and you get your shed and doors fixed. Maybe the songwriting isn't going to work. Right, so next one. Uh, number 90. By this point, I think we'd lost the plot, as you kept reminding me. Uh, and it, the next one is this one. How many tarting? This one is right. It was Let There Be Love. Let There Be Love by Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. with Let There Be Love. That's what I keep saying. I get in at night and I say to Mrs. Braithwaite, Let There Be Love. Not work yet. Has it worked on you, Victor? No, no. Uh, next one. Uh, is, is this one? Forget the numbers, forget the numbers. If you've got this written down, it? that is no matter what. <laughs> no matter what, I'd be locked up by the end of the year. Uh, by Boyzone. Boyzone, no matter what. Next one. That's a dog. <laughs> Rule the world, believe it or not. That's Victor, that's your theme song, isn't it? Rule the world. Victor wants to rule the world. Uh, boy, take that. Take you, yes, do Victor. Take that. Rule the world, boy, take that. Uh, the next one is this one. That one. That was, believe it or not. Clout. Uh, what? No. Oh, shout! Sorry, shout! Shout! Uh, I thought you were telling me to shout because they couldn't hear me. I thought you were saying shout, but I thought I was shout by Lulu. Lulu. Uh, the next one. I don't know if we actually got this one out. <laughs> oh, boy! We have! That was the Sultans of Swingers. Uh, is that where you're going on Monday night? Is the Sultans of Swingers? Uh, that'd be better. That's better name than uh, Appy Jumper, is that? I think Sultans of Swingers, that'd be. I can well, even go there. Uh, Sultans of Swing by the Dire Straits. I would be in Dire Straits. <laughs> if, I went, if I went there, I would be in Dire Straits. Yeah. Uh, Sultans of Swing. Uh, the next one. Keep forgetting to press that button. It's not casual, take it, not casual. That was touch me. <laughs> not you, Victor. Get back. Touch me by Samantha Fox. Now Mrs. Braithwaite, she sings that one. She's she's actually on, on, on the on the sheep tube. Sheep tube? YouTube, sorry, ha, she's actually on YouTube singing that one. Uh, believe it or not, if you, if you look hard enough for it, uh, she's had quite a lot of views on it, hasn't she? Uh, she's singing as uh, 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 Sam, 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 Samantha Fox. Uh, so touch me. Uh, where any more abuse? Uh, don't think it'll take off. Uh, we shared a dressing room. Yes, is, uh, is he singing with Bonnie, <laughs> Bonnie and Cordy? Yeah, it's not as funny as Mr. Moni Tartin. <laughs> the next time we do a show, and I say, please thank. I, I, that, that's it, Mr. Moni. <laughs> that's, that, that's funnier than mine. Uh, 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 Borden, Borden Waithwaite. <laughs> Borden Waithwaite. There you go. <laughs> Work that one out. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Moni Tartine, live on, on the Sheep Tube on, on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> live on Facebook <laughs> at 7.30. Rewind. Yes, Mr. Tony Martin, live on Facebook at 
7.30 on Thursday. <laughs> Singing that very popular hit, Let There Be Love. But Tony, you've got to do it at that speed. Ah, and you'll be glad to hear two more to go. Next, next one, put the pen, 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 the next the last. <laughs> yes, I was walking back to the madhouse, <clears throat> walking back to happiness by Helen Shapiro. Helen, Helen Shapiro. And the last one is a TV show, a TV show, and it is not that one, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> it's a cold, it's freezing the brain cells. Right, who put Little House on the Prairie? No, 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 no. You, you put that. You put Little House on the Prairie. No, no, no. It's not that one. It was the other one. It was the Waltons. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. Yes, that was the Waltons. That was. So we finally got there. We finally got the end. Add them up. Who cares? <laughs> Sue, you're the winner. <laughs> right. I don't think we got cursing this way, have we? Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony. <laughs> what am I on? I, I'm on? I'm on a stool. Uh, I think it might have been a bar stool in a previous life because it's having the... In, in, inebriate, inebriating effect. Right, so I've someone been putting gin in my water. Um, no, it's not gin, that's a vodka. vodka yeah. So, uh, there we go. So, uh, oh, still got 28. <laughs> so, uh, was that from the, the, spe the, the spookter? The spookter. The, the spectre. Uh, Paul have got 12. Caroline and Russell got. Car Caroline, you're you going to be changing your. <laughs> Cross me off. Cross me off. Don't be, I'm going to put me down on the family. Be that madman in the family. Uh, yes. Thursday, so Mr. Mr. Moni Tartin is, I'll, I'll give you another little plug, is on 7.30 till 8.30, but this week, tune in at 7. Oh, I should say that at the beginning. So he's at 7, because the kids can talk to Santa. Will I never? Look at that, Mr. Moni Tartin on Facebook. Just just search for Moni Tartin or his stage name, Tony Martin, at 7 o'clock on Facebook, and the kids can talk to Santa. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. Hope the kids haven't been watching this one. <laughs> right. Okay, so, uh, yes, uh, Tony Martin, all of them. Oh, yeah, Tony Martin got all of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the captain, they got not me. George got 42. <laughs> Because you were looking at it, you did it, didn't you? You froze the frame and you turned it round. George got 42, or is it four and two? <laughs> Six. Right, so on that, George will be the winner. Now, uh, so uh, I think we're about ready for the tribute show, tonight's tribute show. So, Victor, you, you're, you can take a hike now, you're done. You, you go, go and get on that base, yeah, that Facebook thing. <laughs> right, so tonight's it. Now, Next one, the next one, but I think we've just got one more in us. <laughs> we've just got one more in us before I'm finally carted off to the madhouse. And uh, we're going to have, I think we might do a bit of a Christmas special. We might sort of decorate the thing up a bit and have a few Christmassy questions. And, and I, I've heard, I've heard that Victor is wanting to do some Christmas albums, which will be on his next album. Because the, the Victor sings Christmas. And uh, we've got... French shoulders, knees and toes. No, there are songs. No, the bad song. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so the next one, uh, probably the last one for Christmas, I'm going to do it at Christmas. And we'll have Easter eggs everywhere. Easter eggs and Easter stockings everywhere. Be fabulous. Lots of chocolate. But uh, I think we're going to see ourselves out with uh, the a salute to Victor. <laughs> Thank you for, for surviving through this. And lasting, lasting. Let's see, I'm going to final comments before we go. Get off. Yes, I'm about to. All of them, yes, yes, the captain got that, not me. George, what to do? Will I be able to talk to Santa? Yes, Caroline, if you tune in to Mr. Tony Fartin, Tony Fartin, <laughs> Tony Martin, on Thursday, you will be able to talk to Santa. Uh, I got all of them, plus many more. George got 18. Well done there, George. 
George, it's best. Yes, 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 yes. You've got double figures. Well, was it all the music ones you got, George? Uh, the, oh, you got next week's as well. <laughs> He's got next week's. So, Mr. Mr. Moni Tartin is a beautiful singer and a psychic. <laughs> or, 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 does, or is that makes you sick? I don't know. Uh, Sue Horton, blah, blah, blah. Uh, quite, quite calm and smiling. Thank you, Sue. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. I'm glad you're as mad as I am. Uh, stocking, stockings, our, 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 our missus. Oh, that's who I've been. Oh, no, missus. Oh, yes, it came to pass. I, Claudius. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Frankie Howard. Very much. Ha ah, ha ha. Right, so well, we'll leave you with. Uh, where's he going? Is, is he in your dressing room as well? Uh, a salute to Victor. We'll see you out by singing. <laughs> oh, I, I apparently he's going to be singing uh, A Bat Out of Hell. <laughs> but as Victor. Right, so, so thank you very much, everybody. And uh, take care. Have a safe week. And uh, uh, yes, safe week. Thank you very much. Well, I leave you with a salute to Victor. Right then, come on there, salute to Victor. Right. Yeah, I hope I hope you're as good a singer as Victor, Victor, the real Victor. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name's Salute to Victor. Our feet are very good, and I shall be booked instead of that idiot Victor. Right, so here I go. Singing for a salute to Victor. I like a bat out of hell. I'll be gone when the morning comes. I like a bat out of hell. I'll be gone, gone, gone. Like a bat out of hell. I'll be gone when the morning comes. When the day is done and the sun goes down and the music shining through. And like a sinner before the gates of heaven, I'll come crawling. I'm back to you, I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm back to you, I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm back to you. Here you are, you see. Oh, oh, what's this do?